because that's when I submitted, you know, the application and there was a fee and all of that. So, you know, once I get into something, I'm going to stick it out to the end. Okay, so that's how I did that. I had no intention of winning or any of that. So how did you feel when you won the contest? It's static and very, very surprised. But, of course, you know, we all have, from our fellow contestants, people who we think will win, because they had so much going for them. And these, well, it was 18 out of the 17 other women who were so friendly and supportive. And that just amazed me, because I've gone on auditions and things where, you know, everybody's afraid of who's going to get in and who's going to get the part. They just sit there, they don't share anything. These women, who there were two or three that had been in the pageant, and they shared their experiences. It was great. I enjoyed it at the first meeting because it was in someone's house. Uh, was that when? That was Sonia. Sonia. Uh, yeah, pageant yeah, pageant director, who had us at her house. So she was a great pass, and everything. You got to meet the ladies, and it was just too real. So what are your duties as our uh, Miss Senior Marilyn? Well, of course, the, the big surprise, and let's face it, I certainly do look at all of the pageants mostly, Miss World, Miss America. Well, with this one, I knew it wouldn't be bathing suit because they definitely would be running out of town. But <laughs> I, I was judged, we were judged on our philosophy of life, okay. uh, interview with the judges, your talent and your evening gown. The most difficult thing for me, which really I almost was ready to drop the ball, is the time frames. Our philosophy of life could only be 35 seconds. Being a public speaker and also an actress, I don't get started after 35 seconds. Your talent could only be two minutes and 35 seconds. Now, I do the electric slide with the Mayor Angelou's poem. So my big difficulty was to, to do that in a time frame. Okay, so we're gonna, we have a clip of that, so let's see what your talent was. Contestant number 10, Vernon Day Jones. Vernon will be dancing to the electric slide. <laughs> Yes. 
so to speak, on, you know, you just, uh, you got to get out. Well, can you share with us your philosophy that you are to help? You're not being timed here now. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, that's a blessing. We all know that you have to take life as it happens. But sometimes you ought to try to make it happen the way you want to take it. Now, to do this age is not a problem. All you have to do is develop your potential. Widen your horizon. Take risks and laugh. Not at others, but at yourself. Because let's face it, it's not only later than you think, uh, it's sooner than you suspect. So you better start living. I learned this one before I agree with that philosophy as well. You never give up on your dreams. Now, believe it or not, that philosophy comes from a full-fledged speech that I wrote entitled, At the Pace She's Going. And that's why you have to get out here and motivate these people because someone is always telling an elderly person who you are and what you can do and don't do. And my philosophy, as I said, is enlarge your harassment. Develop your potential. Who, no one could have convinced me that I was going to get in a pageant. Okay, Verna, we'll be right back. We have a few clips from that show. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Please welcome Kathleen Young. Thank you. I want to introduce our sponsors for 
pageant today, if it wasn't for our sponsors, we would not be having a pageant today. Um, our premier sponsor, once again, this year as it was last year, is Bath Fitters. And on behalf of Bath Fitters, Kathy McClellan, who's one of our judges, I'd like to introduce her to come up here, Kathy. And also, I'd like to introduce Charlotte Turner. She is the owner of Charlotte's Hairline, Inc., and is located in White Marsh. She has also sponsored the pageant this year as well. Hi, it's my business to make women more beautiful, but these ladies certainly don't get any help. <laughs> we appreciate it, Charlotte. Uh, two other sponsors that couldn't be here. One is Prestige Caterers. This was their second year. They sponsored the luncheon that the contestants had earlier this afternoon. And also Catherine's Florist, who sponsored all of our flowers today as well. Oh, that was great. Kathleen, that was a lot of work and preparation. How did you get it? Uh, it really, it's like a, it's a year-round um, job, and you know, Baltimore City will, will find that out, but it's just from the little details of, you know, getting a florist and a photographer, um, finding the venue, um, doing the publicity, like Verna said, if that flyer didn't come across her director's desk, Verna would never have known about it, and she never would have been in the pageant. So it's things like that, we um, try and send advertising to the senior centers all across the state. We send them to the, um, the gyms and the fitness centers where, you know, seniors work out. Um, all the local papers, all the, um, the state papers, so it is, it's a lot of work. There's, um, there was a great group of us that worked on the pageant okay, year-round. So there's a, there's a group of you There's a group of us, yes. Every year? Uh, every year. Well, Fern, I think you're an amazing lady. I always <laughs> admired you and what you've been able to do and have been an inspiration to me, and that's all true. And um, Kathleen, I thank you as well for promoting this kind of event and gives the seniors an opportunity to, you know, show what they can do and share with yes. they, their gifts that they have, the knowledge and experience. And for those of you out there in the audience who are interested in becoming Miss Senior Marilyn uh, and you feel that you're talented, um, you can contact um, Kathleen. I am really excited about this. And how about you ladies out there? And now contestant number 10, please welcome Verna Day Jones. Verna was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. After graduating from high school, she enrolled acting classes. And I think she excelled. During World War II, she was detailed to Social Security Administration in Baltimore and retired 40 years later. She received many awards for volunteerism. And Verna was featured in a book entitled 16 Women Who Changed Theater in Maryland. In 1995, she won the Toastmasters International Area Speech Contest. Verna Day Jones. I understand you've written a book 
called I Have It Written, uh, Marvin Loesch, who was a professor at Towson, wrote a book, Women Who Changed Theater in Baltimore. And believe it or not, I'm one of those women. 16 women who changed theater in Baltimore. That was a thrill, too. It's pretty impressive. Yes, we really? did. They had a reception for us at Towson. And many of the women, you know, like I, I know I'm not getting too familiar with them. I always need my papers and stuff in front of me. But that was quite a thrill. Okay. And uh, the book uh, sold for $14. And believe it or not, quite a few were sold, not for me, but for Towson and other big ones. Yes. Plus, you know, years ago, I was the first black woman to win the Toast Mistress World Speech Contest. Wow. That was in 1975. I am a Toast Mistress, not a Toast, toast Master. Masters. But that's who gets all the publicity. Because there is a Toast Mistress group. And on my job at Social Security, at that time, I belonged to the Woodlawn. Toastmistress. Well, that's a new one for me because I was never aware that this Toastmistress um, was asked to be a part of Toastmasters. Oh, no, so, don't tell me that. You wanted to be where there were some men. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, actually, I was approached, but, uh, really? you know, tell us I'm a just little joking. bit about the, the Toastmasters. There's this still an operation. I'm not actively participating. As the winner, uh, several years ago, you know, they still call me when they're having like installation programs and things. And it always, I guess they think it lends something to have a winner our way in this area. Right. But yes, that's a me. thrill. I understand that you were part one of the founders of uh, Arena Players, which well, is now, the oldest African American community theater in the nation. Right. Well, I'll tell you. Now, when you really want to get down to that, believe it or not, they don't consider me as an original. I, the, the Arena Players were started in 1953. Right. I was in the first play, but somehow I must have missed, I didn't think I had, <laughs> when the Heavenly Father sat down, dear Sam Wilson, and started the Arena Players which don't make me mad. <laughs> I know I've been with them 50 years and enjoyed every minute of it. And that's something else about this business of uh, taking risks, expanding your horizon, because that was one of my greatest emotional outlets. And let's face it, and we didn't get paid, so you know it was worth something. Uh, but there again, 50 years, 80 I am, and you can bet in 80 years, as Langston Hughes said, life ain't no crystal stair. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> well, Vernon, that was great. Thank you for inviting us. It was a great experience. Yes, it's it's my pleasure. appreciate it. It's a great opportunity for us to promote next year's pageant. I think we might get quite a couple uh, great ladies just from watching the show today. Great, Thank you. Been great, wonderful, interesting guests. Thank you for joining us. That's it for today, folks, and I thank you for joining us at the Great Blacks and Wax Open Forum. My name is Margaret Locklear, and I'll see you the next time. And as we close, we're going to leave you with some of the highlights from the Miss Senior Merlin pageant. And thank you for joining us. And if you should survive to a hundred and five, think of all you'll derive out of being alive. And here is the best part, you'll have a head start if you are among the very young. be a guest on the Great Blacks and Wax Open Forum, call the number at the bottom of the screen, join us. If you have an interesting antidote to share with us, or if you have something you want to promote uh, from your community, just give us a call.
look so pretty, Margaret. <laughs> I'm so scared. I know. But you see, if you stop, you really look beautiful, okay?